Sup, MFers. Oh my God, it was hard to get this freaking thing going, but we're up now. We're going. I'm super jacked. Happy, uh, what day is it? Wednesday night to all you MFers. Happy hump day. Uh, exciting live stream for you guys tonight. I haven't done a live stream in a long time, but I thought this was a really good time to uh, take a second and do one because you can see right back here behind me. Oh man, I got a couple big sexy boxes and stuff that you guys have probably never seen before along with some rods i got a little bit of everything an exciting video live stream for you guys in store i thought it'd be a perfect time to kind of get the the pulse of the mf or nation reply to some of you guys get some feedback you know i've been doing all these videos traveling around super busy with the summer stuff between traveling and all the bank fishing stuff and i want to hear more from you guys i want to talk more from you guys so what we're going to do is we're going to go over these these two boxes of baits i just got it's kind of an unboxing as you can tell from the thumbnail unless you're completely brain dead um i i've already unboxed and taken a look at some of this tackle but not very much of it yet just a little bit of it that i kind of had to do it was kind of time sensitive because i'm going out of town on a big trip tomorrow so we're going to go through some of that tackle we're going to drink some damn beers here's the beers of the night tonight we have uh these are both actually from my trip recently the family trip with miss Melican fishing and the dab master um all the way out to utah wyoming yellowstone all over Wyoming. I mean, it was an absolute freaking blast. Went over to Idaho even. Uh, but this is Teton Brewing, Grand Teton Brewing, the Teton Amber Ale, and Vernal Brewing Company, the Session Lager. Vernal is actually right on the banks of the Green River. What do you guys think? Which one should I open and drink first? It's totally up to you guys. It's a live stream, and I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let's see it. Let's see it. First person that comments one of these two. Green one, boom. Mountain State fly tying. Let's get it going. You guys have been here before. You know in the past what it means when we're cracking these beers open in the live stream. It is one, if you guys use the super chat, if you are friendly and kind enough to super chat any money to support the channel, I take a drink and I shout you guys out. So that's pretty tasty. I mean, I've had 72 of them when I was out there, but I had forgotten. Freaking tasty. And two, to let you guys know that money that you would donate um, through Super Chat, that's actually going to go directly to the Slaunch Master Classic, which let's talk about that really, really quick. Slaunch Master Classic. For those of you that don't know, um, November 3rd, Truman Lake, Missouri. I'm hosting a, a fishing tournament myself. The Millican Fishing Channel and crew is all hosting a fishing tournament. Bad Bass Fishing getting us started. Shout out to you, my man. Mm. But we're hosting a fishing tournament, a bass fishing tournament. Boats, two-man team, um, $100 entry fee. So a low entry fee, and I'm paying out $20,000. Actually, I got all that taken care of, the twenty grand and everything. Um, first place is ten grand, but the extra money, if you guys will donate 100% of that, we'll go to some extra prizes. I'm doing some door prizes and stuff like that. Um, some, some really amazing stuff. And I'll get you guys some more details with that. Um, we have, I believe in the 140s somewhere in there for teams that have signed up. I just checked a little bit ago. So we have 50 ish teams, uh, open 50 ish slots open. So a couple people hit me up today, asked if there's still spots. There certainly is. Mm, mm, mm. That's good stuff. All right. So we got two different boxes. One is from six cents fishing. The other one is from you guessed it, the Tackle Square House. And so uh, I'm not sure which one you guys want to get to, but I don't know. I get a lot of requests for the Sixth Sense stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's open the Sixth Sense stuff first. I'm going on a trip in the next couple days. We're going to go through some of this tackle. I'm going to show you guys some stuff you've never seen before. Yes, I'm coming down Saturday. First time, first Husker game of the season. I'm freaking Jack, guys. Let's go. Let's get disappointed again. All right, it's going to be a better year. Ian, look at this. Ian just donated 20 bucks. Mm. Love you, even, even Ian. I'm, I swear, I'm so. This is my first beer of the night. My brain just all over the place. I filmed a video today. I filmed a video yesterday, the day before that. Filmed two yesterday, actually. Filming two tomorrow. Then I'm going out of town tomorrow night. Four days. I'm gonna be fishing the entire time. Ugh. A lot of stuff coming, but I'm excited to be able to sit here and give you guys some feedback. Talk to you more. Wow, you got your PB, Thomas, and a pond was nine five two. That's a freaking giant, dude. Very nice, Clayton Styles. That does not count. And I'm not telling you guys where I'm going. You're going to have to wait and watch the videos and see. All right, let's get to the Sixth Sense stuff. Oh, first and foremost, this guy right here. I'm super freaking jacked about this. Casey's been telling me. <clears throat> woo, beer's getting to me already. Casey's been telling me that he's going to be releasing these bait bags um, for a long time now. He's been designing these, getting the company just right. HF Fishing, thank you so much. 
Appreciate it, guys. I think we got like 25 bucks already for door prices for the for the tournament. Hell yes. Anyways, Casey's been talking to me about creating this bait bag. He's like, we got to come out with a bait bag system. Um, I just got these in the mail. I think I got 10 of them, and I already filled all of them. Oh, my God. Thomas, thank you so much. $30. Is someone going to beat out Thomas for the biggest donation? I'm drinking to you, Thomas. So we got over 50 bucks for door prizes now for the Slaunch Master Classic. You guys are amazing. All right, so this is uh, obviously the craw bag. Um, I, I took, I went out and I got a silver Sharpie and I actually wrote what's in these bags right here. Um, it does actually come with the little clear slit right there and you can put like a piece of paper if you don't want to draw them or whatever. But I like to be really big. I might even put some on the side because I'm not very organized and I'll stack these in my boat. But I got like 10 of them. Um, I wasn't sure how many bags these would hold. But here's a good representation. Hopefully, a lot of you guys probably saw this on Instagram. Jeremy York, thank you so much. I would love to get up to Maine eventually. Um, I don't want these to fall out, but um, I probably got 15 to 20 bags in here pretty comfortably. Um, and the biggest thing for me is this zipper that comes on them seems pretty robust. So I'm really thinking it's gonna hold up. Casey said he's had his for a while and they've held up really good. So that's the biggest thing. All these plastic bags, all the, uh, the big glad bags and everything I get, they, they last a couple months, they fall apart. Um, they, and then they're just not usable. So now I got this, I can be super organized. I have like, I don't know, so many different types and, and niches of baits in these guys. I also have my loose baits and boxes, but these guys I'm super, super jacked about. Of course, anything that's in this box right here, um, promo code MF10 over at sixcentsfishing.com will let you get these cheaper than anywhere you freaking can. If you haven't been over to the Six Sense website lately, they've just put up so much freaking new stuff, including this right here, new apparel, new baits, new soft plastic baits. RJ Cook, Deadly Crumpet, two drinks for you guys. Freaking guys are rich. I need, I need to do whatever you guys do for a living. My God. Mm. Favorite color for fall. Man, I wish it was that simple. I wish it was just like, fall I like red, winter I like blue, Spring, I like black and blue, and summer, I like plum. I wish it was that simple, man, but I gotta have more background on uh, what 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 exactly you're talking about. Um, today, I did actually catch my biggest bass of the year um, on a crankbait, on a shallow crankbait in my Gilligan color, which I'm super jacked about. That Gilligan color will be up on the Six Sense site before too much longer. Um, had to get some more Six Sense apparel. Let's just open this up. I saw my man Colorado Slaunch Hunter had this on, and He's much more attractive than I am, but um, I, I am gonna definitely rock this new Six Sense hoodie. Where I'm going, it might be a little cooler uh, in the mornings at least. 50s it's forecast for, so this guy's gonna be badass in the start. All right, let's get to the sexy, juicy stuff. Look at this, look at all these Six Sense baits right here. Probably doesn't look like that many, but there's a lot in there. Um, do another 24 hour challenge. Absolutely, that's a great idea, man. Let's start with some plastics. So I got some swim baits. Um, these I think will definitely be getting a workout. Look at that right there. I actually, um, I, I have, I think I told you guys a second ago, but I have some very exciting news at the end of this video. So stick around, um, some stuff I have not told you guys before. So pretty excited. This is the shad scream color, real nice natural shad color. I, I don't know. I don't want to dump these everywhere. I'm literally going out to the boat to get these stocked in my boxes for the trip coming up. Once this video is over. Oh man. All right, got some C10s. We're gonna be doing some offshore cranking rock piles and stuff. And I got them all in craw colors. I'm not gonna share much more than that other than uh, you guys are gonna have to uh, watch the videos and see what we do with these baits right here. So this right here is like a PB and J crawfish. Really good looking craw color. This one's a little bit different. It's called a gravel craw. C10's been really good. If you guys watch the Texas videos, we crushed big largemouth. We might be going for a little bit different species um, to catch these, catch on these guys right here. Um, let's see, we got, ooh, there's another one. Gravel craw, gravel craw, more PB and J craw. Um, here's some really boring stuff, but I think a lot of you guys might not know Six Sense has been selling this as well now. It's new, um, tungsten, pitch black tungsten that comes in a bunch of different sizes. They got sold out right away, way quicker than they thought they would. Um, so they weren't in stock for a little bit, but the Six Sense tungsten is back in stock. And again, if you use my promo code MF10, that actually is like some of the cheapest tungsten you can get on the market. Ernesto, thank you so much. Hi from Fort Worth. I'm trying to drink my second beer already. Um, but anyways, this is a, a non-chip coating on these, so these will not, you don't have to worry about the paint coming off, nothing. These are really, really good tungsten weights. I've had 
great success with them. You guys seem to use them pretty much in every video. Every time I tie a Texas rig, Carolina rig. So I stocked up big time. If you're like me, if you fish a lot, you go through a lot of tungsten. You get snagged once uh, per cast usually. So you go through a lot of that. Um, you guys know I love lure customization. You know I like to uh, change stuff on the water. Do stuff different than other people to give the fish a different look. And so that is why I got all of these guys right here. We got custom jig skirts. Brett Good, thank you so much. I appreciate you sending that money. All really, really good colors, especially this one. I think this is my favorite. It's kind of, it's weird. I used to laugh at guys that threw, all they talked about was, oh, I throw PB and J. You don't need any other color. And I used to make fun of them for that because I'm like, no, I got three other colors that are better than that. I guarantee it. Well, I've kind of come around to it because of this color. It's a little bit of a different take on it. It's called PB and J Magic uh, or Peanut Butter Magic has some blue um, shimmer in there. I don't know, it, it's like the sexiest color ever, big buck 87, thank you. You guys remember way back at the start of the year, my tournament with Tony, um, we, we won that tournament by a lot. Uh, I caught some really key fish on this jig skirt color. Really, really awesome color. Um, I also got this guy right here, a little bit less natural, stands out a little more, it's called Missouri Craw, and then uh, this guy as well. Natural color, but it has some chartreuse in it. That'll probably key you guys in onto what type of fish species We'll be going after Neon Sunfish. Pow! Man, I'm freaking jacked. More tungsten. I got so much more freaking... I got a lot of tungstens. Um, and then these guys, last but not least. Look at this. We have... Underspins. Divine Underspins. That'll match up super well with that uh, that swim bait. Um, what should I show you guys? You guys want to see something that you haven't ever seen before? I have a feeling you do. Let's talk. I'm going to answer some questions before we, we get into the, the rest of the unboxing and everything. Come fishing in Wisconsin. I'd love to. Definitely smallies. What are you talking about? I've never heard of a smallie. MF or rods, man. I don't know. We might have to wait till the end of the video. I live in Nebraska. I sure do. Swim baits. Yes. How long have you been fishing? Um, yes, I'm married, Michael. Uh, I've been fishing since I was two years old, my mom said. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely... Pardon my French, fucking obsessed with fishing. Doug Bates, love you. Thank you. I'll, I'll keep him up, my man. Six cents ice fishing gear. It's in the works, but it's it's kind of seasonal. Ah, uh, Eli just became a new member. My man, five bucks a month, you get some really exclusive access to some stuff that no one else gets. Really appreciate that, including a better discount code on all my merch and everything. Um, favorite lure of all time. Oh. That's that's so broad because like a jig obviously is very, very good, especially the hybrid jig because you can do so many different things with it. Love the hybrid jig, but that's not sexy. Let's go with the sexy lure. I love the seven inch MS Slammer. Just one of the funnest baits in my, I don't know. I love them so much. Six cents veteran gear. That's a good call, man. Herbert just became a member as well. I'm going to drink to you, Herbert. I'm going to finish this beer off, actually. I'm talking fast. I'm drinking fast. It's a great freaking time. Favorite state to fish? Jesus. You guys have freaking good questions tonight. I wish that was easier. I'd love to say Texas because of the big bass, but my God, Wyoming is like... I've, I've explored two different places in Wyoming now, and I've lived in Nebraska my whole life, a border state of Wyoming. But I've always been like, man, it's 8 to 14 hours away to some of these beautiful places on the west side of Wyoming. Um, so I never made the trip, but me and Miss Melican um, and, and the dad master went out there. It, they're so beautiful. Tower goes fishing. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Once I'm done with this beer, we're going we're gonna to do some, some other stuff here. Mm, 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 mm. PB Bass. Smallmouth, 6'3". Largemouth 810. Gonna beat that soon. Chicken titty tip. My man! I mean, that's like, that's good stuff. Chicken titties work. Curtis Woods becoming a new member to that. We're gonna open up the Grand Teton Brewing. And you guys know the, the language gets a little rougher after we have a couple beers really, really quick. Oh, God! John Henderson just donated not $25, but close. $24.99. Really appreciate the kind words, man. Seriously, appreciate you guys. Cadence from Instagram. So, um, 
yeah, I told you, I told you guys on Instagram to shout out if you saw it on Instagram. I just said I was going live a little bit ago. Um, want to let you guys know, Brian has been running my Instagram. Ian Stamel, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Mm. But Brian, my assistant, has been running uh, my Instagram um, somewhat. I, I run it still quite a bit too, but he's been running it, and and we're reposting every single person that tags Melican Fishing wearing any of my gear, my slaunch hunter stuff, Melican Fishing hat, stuff like that. Thomas Six just became a new member. You're the freaking man. Anyone who's using like Six Sense stuff, you know, going out there catching fish on that, we'll repost you, we'll tag you, whatever. We just want to spread the word, spread the love. Appreciate every single one of you guys that uh, is willing and, and generous and kind enough to uh, donate and, and help out with the uh, the life, the the grind. I don't stop. Um, do I ever come to Colorado? I do, yes. But to me, like Wyoming was kind of been like the less popular uh, and busy Wyoming. Um, mine is Yellowstone. My God, have you guys been to Yellowstone Park? That's the most, that's the busiest place in freaking planet Earth. I know they say like India and like Mexico City and like parts of China are the most populous. Mike Fleming, thank you for becoming a member. I think potentially Yellowstone Park, there's more people than like Mexico City. That place is un. Believable. I'll try to stop eating my boogers, Brandon, but I can't guarantee that Montana looks beautiful. Haven't been there yet. All right. Casey said I can't talk about it, but we're going to talk about it anyways. Let's talk about some of these new Sixth Sense fishing rods. We're going to save that one for a little bit later. Look at this one. You guys saw me fishing with this one down in Texas, and I think I got more questions about this one than any in the Sixth Sense lineup. This is going to be the new Divine Series. It's not out yet from Sixth Sense Fishing. Look at that rod, but Junior Pira, man, I think that I'm, I hope I'm not butchering your name because you've been supporting me for a long time. I really appreciate you, Junior. I wish you could come to the tournament too, man. If I break a rod taking a drink of the beer, so be it. It just happens, okay? Anyways, this, this guy right here, as much as I love the sensory, as much as I love the freaking unicorn, the actions are so spot on in this Divine series, and it's going to be cheaper. $200 price point is what this is going to be coming in at. Taylor Pollitt just became a new member. Appreciate you. Thanks so much, Tates. Mm. No dab master none. I apologize for that. Um, Divine series. Uh, I'm going to use that code to update my gear. That would be a very good idea. And you guys, I, I feel stupid because I think the last like 37 videos have been like a six cents commercial. It seems like, like I'm just using stuff because it's what I use to catch fish. I can't make these videos. It's really, really hard to catch fish. A lot of the times, as you guys know, the majority of the time, it's really tough. Even when you think it's going to be good. Of course you have those days like we had the other day where you just freaking smash them and you dial in super quick and you're like oh they're in 14 feet let's throw a 15 foot diver and you freaking wreck them but most days it's not like that i'm just throwing the stuff that works and i have to throw stuff that works um i don't have a choice and so that's where i'm at with that anyways um i can't show you guys the action this isn't a wide enough camera lens but you're gonna see this much much more and this right here is my favorite rod grip on any rod ever 500 rod 20 dollar rod whatever this is it right here, and we're actually putting it on half of my Millican Fishing Series rods, so I can't break away for that. Also, if you guys have been ordering those new Six Sense rods, you know that they all come in this custom rod sleeve. This one's a little dirty because that's not a new rod. Casey's had it in his boat for a while, um, but it comes with the action. Um, it, it's, it tapers down. It's the perfect length for every single rod in the series. Velcros, it's just like, they, I don't know how they can afford to put stuff like that in with these rods it's just so freaking nice nathan phelps thank you so much i appreciate you i'm gonna drink some amber ale to that mm. oh, saving your money for some mf rods so you're not gonna donate very much money you don't need to donate a dime till my rods come out then i need you to donate everything you've ever made in your life all right one more rod to show you guys right now this is my favorite rod in the sensory series uh seven four medium heavy i have one now I got two because this is a freaking banger of a dragon rod. Um, these are a little more pricey, but they're super, super sensitive. I mean, this is this is a dragging rod. This is the Texas rig, casting long offshore, dragging jigs, stuff like that. Any, 
Woo! Anything from three eighths to five eighths of an ounce is a sweet spot for this rod. You could throw one ounce rods, one ounce rods, one ounce baits if you want. You could throw a quarter ounce baits, three eighths to five eighths if you're dragging jigs, stuff like that. Oh, so good. That's a freaking good rod. Okay, let's get into these, uh, the other order. And again, this stuff's all for the trip I got coming up. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start with this, but we got a whole bunch of tackle in this box right here. I would dump it out, but like I said, I already got enough stuff on the floor. Um, let's get into this quick, and then I'm gonna answer some questions from you guys and give you that that blah, 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 and give you guys that exciting announcement towards the end. Here's a really boring product I ordered because I'm old and I'm not just spending all my money on sexy stuff these days. Got this boring old bottle of Eagle Eye High Tech Formula Screen Cleaner. I know, super exciting. Michael, that is exciting. You just became a new member. Cheers to you. Mm. Apologize for my dirty fingernails of fish every day. I'm just a mess, guys. I've been out fishing and stuff. Woo, it's been a lot. Anyways, uh, MF bracelet doesn't even become available. Um, maybe I'll make one in sterling silver so you can get it for your old lady. Just a great gift. Maybe some sparkling fish emblems. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe a charm bracelet. I don't even know. We got all sorts of new MF gear coming out. Some of it's going to be exclusive for the Millican Fishing Tournament. Guess what, guys? I got, mm, I got another exciting announcement that I'm going to have to make. A bit later as well. Two exciting announcements. I didn't even think of the one before. All right, anyways, screen cleaner. You guys probably watch my videos and you're like, dude, you're trying to show us that there's fish on the screen or you're claiming that there is, and it looks like a bunch of damn water spots. You're correct. Not anymore. Until I lose that, which will probably be pretty quick. Um, Here we go. We got a couple more baits right here. This is the same bait, four inch Mega Bass Haze Dog. E Evan? Just donated 20 bucks, almost, $19.99. Becky wants to know what I want to have for dinner. Becky, I'm trying to do a live stream, babe. I'm drinking beers for dinner. But seriously, if you're watching this video, Rebecca, and you're probably not, I'm going to have to meet you somewhere because I'm not feeling like cooking. All right, four-inch make bass, haze dong shads. If you guys watch my videos, you'll know in the past, these guys right here on the side chick rig. Shout out to Paul and I. Very, very effective bait. You guys will have to see that soon. Where's the Zark and Porn Stash? I'm sorry. They don't freaking live here, guys. I, I don't know what else to tell you. What's up, man? Appreciate you so much for saying hi. Um, I got some more crack cocaine in my bag. These guys right here. I can't show them for very long. Three-inch cover crawls. You guys will see those get shoot soon um this weekend screw you melican come on blaze samurai i don't want you 20 bucks all right man robert's pissed apparently make graph covers ethan i got some graph covers for you my buddy john hunter on the elite series makes this product right here for you ethan look at that i got that sitting around graph glass pow don't have to worry about your Gra glass on your graph breaking. Suck it. Go buy some, Ethan. That's gummy worm boy. All right. Drop shot baits. I don't know who this guy is. Lakeven, I think his name is. Lakeven Vandom. Drop shot baits. We hope to God we don't drop shot. Here's a big part of my $1,500. I got a new Navionics chip. Why it's not built into my $1,500 fish finder? That's a damn mystery, but here's an extra chip we'll use to find more fish for you guys. That's some of the stupid bullshit expenses from the fishing market that you guys don't see when you watch my videos. You're like, oh, how'd you find those fish? Oh, I spent $200 on a damn mapping chip so I could be in the middle of nowhere and see some contours, apparently. All right, more tackle for the side chick rig. Right there, we got those guys, long mojo style weights for the, the old finesse Carolina rig. I like throwing that, but god dang. It's like it's going to be windy this weekend where we're going. I hope that I don't have to resort to uh, to using that. How's the fish in Curly in Nebraska? I don't know. I caught a big one today in Nebraska. It was like six pounder. That was badass, but it's been really hit and miss. Um, right here, last part of the uh, side chick rig. It's pretty exciting. Actually, we got some more stuff that's going to be more exciting. Here's something that's super exciting right here guys look at that we got little pieces of metal that's exciting stuff these go in my wacky rig mold my uh wing ding mold 
I don't know, I needed more and I didn't have time to wait um, for, for do it to send me any more. I just had to overnight these. Austin, how many new members have we gotten from this video? This is badass, you guys become a Millican Fishing members. Mm. All right, let's get us a couple more exciting things and then uh, answer some questions, go over two exciting pieces of news. I'm gonna tell you guys, where do I usually fish? Bodies of water. Here we go, we got a glowing spinner bait. I'm gonna catch some fish on this thing even though it looks really freaking stupid. There it is. Mike, what's your question? You're having a heart attack there. I'm sorry I didn't see your question. When will we see a brewery collab? When they wanna start selling some beer, that's when we'll see a brewery collab. I haven't had any anyone worth a shit reach out anyways. All right, we got two of these things. You probably never heard of them. Um, they house. Mike, I don't know what that means, homie. Um, right here, we got a chode plopper and a dong plopper. I don't know, it's a 130 size. The house we're building. Have not started on the house we're building. We had some other plans. That'll be coming. You'll see eventually. I'm sorry I made you so mad I didn't answer. <laughs> Woo! All right, and last but not least, I want to catch some fish on this stupid ass thing. Topwater duck. Seemed like it was a big popular thing when it came out because everyone had a boner for making YouTube videos for it, but oh, it's stupid. It's really stupid. We'll see if a fish actually eats it. All right, I'm gonna answer a couple things and let's go ahead and uh, tell you guys that exciting news. Six cents needs some big and tall options for sure. I'm a chubby slaunch too, my man. Backyard pond update. You'll see it in the video Saturday morning. Um, any opinion on the Booyah Toad Runner? Not a fan. Sean Price, Missouri, soon. Maybe let's do. I want to fish there. It's got to be good though. I to, it's a drive for me. Uh, King Daddy Frog. I don't own a single King Daddy Frog. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use them enough, but they're cool. I used to like them a lot, but it, they're they're a good niche bait for tournament fishing, heavy mats and such. Need to come to South Carolina. Missouri has badass fishing. Yes, I catch more bass on crappie magnets. Okay, kayak fishing in the future. Hard no. Is six cents and mystery tackle box? Not anymore. I can take you on Table Rock and Slam. I'd love that. Can you go to Kentucky Lake? Probably not. Lake of the Woods. I should. Stockton's hot right now. Yes, I need to go there. What's for breakfast? No idea. I've been watching you forever. I appreciate you. Have that duck. It sucks. Feature Arizona feature fishing. Probably not. Have ever fished Tennessee? Yes. Top frog fish Tulsa? Yes. Joseph, what's up, man? I lost what you said there. I got too many comments coming in. I need to drink some beers and slow down my talking. Maine. Heather Gibson says Maine. A couple people say Maine. Western New York. Let's go to Finger Lakes. Rhino. That would be badass. I've always watched stuff at Cayuga and stuff and wanted to go there. Never fish list seen in Kansas. Nope. What's up? What? Oh, God. You guys are coming in so fast. Sweet Jesus. Have you small mouth fish in Minnesota? N no. How's Max doing? I'd give him a solid 65 out of 100. Josh, thank you so much. Mm. Sean Price probably thinks Table Rock is awesome. Table Rock blows. Um, come bass fish in California. Oh, God! Cyrus just donated 50 bones. That means we have $234 for door prizes. I mean, that's, that's amazing. I think... What do you guys think I should do for a door prize? I want to do something cool like, um, I'm think I'm definitely doing this. Okay, I'll let you guys in on a little secret for the tournament. Um, anyone who wears Melican fishing apparel is going to be entered uh, into a random drawing for like five hundred dollars or five hundred dollar gift card or something like that. And so this money is going to go to some of that, and then we're gonna. I mean, we're. I think we're gonna have a lot of MF rods there. They'll be out by then. Um, it's going to be good stuff. Mm. When am I coming back to San Diego? i got to be awesome, honest with you guys. It's Unless a place is absolutely amazing, it's really tough for me to go back and film there over and over. I've been to San Diego like two times now in the same year to film there. Ian, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, but... San Diego is a special enough place that I think I would just go there and if people were like, oh, I've already seen that video, 
I would just make it a little bit different and just do it again because San Diego is a badass place. My boy Afrin lives out there. Shout out to you, Afrin, the owner of Warbaits. If you're watching this video, amazing company run by a really, really great human being. Um, go check out Warbaits, but super fun um, fishing out there. Just San Diego is not exactly close to here, but yes, I will absolutely get back there. Josh Cole, thank you so much. Mm. All right, exciting announcement number one. Let's freaking get to it. Um, MF for rods right here. I don't know if I can even reach it up because I got so much stuff coming. Um, we don't have an official set date on when they'll be in and up on the Six Cents website, but it's going to be about two weeks. So very, very freaking soon. I'm so excited. This one right here is uh, I'm excited for. It actually is a prototype. Yeah, it just got came in. It's uh, it's a gray handle, even though we're not going to have gray handles. This is actually going to be a full handle model too, but I don't know. They sent a couple in the gray gray handles to check them out. We're going to do black handles for all of them. I think this will stain a little bit too easy, but that's fu the fun thing about prototyping these rods. You get to try so many different types of things, um, and if something that you get a lot of times, you're like, ah, oh, that's not what we wanted, but then you use it a little bit, and you're like, okay, all right. You decided to do that, but we are only a couple weeks out, um, about two weeks out from these awesome rods, my, my own custom series of rods. I'm so excited for it, so you guys can get your hands on them. Joseph, thank you so much. $20 is amazing. Seriously, really appreciate that, but we're not far off from these rods being released. I'm so freaking jacked. Um, we're, we're making these rods, or I designed these rods, I guess, so they're, they're going to be priced for the everyday fishermen. But they're going to be, in my opinion, like the best freaking rod that you can get your hands on at that price point based on your ability to target the fish with specific baits and get those fish to the boat or to the bank, wherever you're fishing. Um, these are going to be set up perfect for whatever scenario. We're, I'll let you on a secret too. what we're having for a series. We're going to have a 610 spinning. We're going to have a seven foot. Um, the rest are going to be, we're going to have one spinning and the rest are going to be casting. 610 spinning. It's going to be an all around Casting, we're going to have a 7 foot, a 7 2, a 7 4, 7 5, 7 7, and 7 9. So we're going to have the ability to do a lot of different stuff. Ooh, I forgot. 7 5 as well. Did I say 7 5? I think there's going to be 7. Six Cents Frogs, uh, January, I believe. Ryan Tidwell. Appreciate you, homie. Mm. Well, turns out. I'm out of beer. That's it right there. Boom. I'm going to answer questions. A couple more questions. I'm going to tell you one more thing. And then we're getting out of here. Six cents reels in the future. No guarantees, but um, working on it. Ever thought about coming to Chesapeake Bay for stripper fishing? Never fished for a stripper. Yes, striper fishing. I would love to do that at some point. Um, where's the dab master? He's at his mobs. Favorite species other than bass to catch. Oh, maybe wipers. I didn't even know there was another species that's bass. Um, do you have any rods for heavy swim baits? You guys freaking know it. Two to four ounce um, is what we were going for. Unfortunately, we ended up with a bait with a rod that could throw a two to four, and it could also throw a six ounce, apparently. Um, Dalton Beasley, thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. I don't have any beer left, but I'm going to try to shake that out of there. Um, let's see. I've thought about taking some new guys out fishing. Absolutely. Have a great night. You too, Alex Miller. Uh, ever fish in Kentucky? I have. What's up, Ben Wilson from Australia? I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Omaha fishing. How is it? It's pretty bad unless you put a lot of time in. I've put a lot of time in so I can catch some occasionally. Um, still use Cascade reels. I do not. They all fell apart. How much can we expect to pay for the new series of rods? Um, like I was telling you guys, it's going to be a great rod for a great price. These rods um, are about the quality of like a $200 to $250 rod, in my opinion. Um, with my discount MF10 on the website, they're going to be about $100. Can't freaking wait. I'm so excited to get this in you guys' hands right freaking here. So jacked. Thought you were going to do a winter to fish with you. That is coming. It's coming, ma making magic fishing. So a video of fishing for junk fish. That'd be fun um let's see pond hop in denver i need to joseph nathan what's up yes so jacked okay i'm done answering questions for for a second we need to get out of here guys this video is getting kind of long but i appreciate the 428 of you who are watching live right now 
Um, I'd really appreciate it if you went over to my site, melicanfishing.com, and you picked up a piece of merch um, apparel. We also have these whole packages of a bunch of different types of decals and stuff you can put on your tackle boxes or whatever. Um, like I told you guys, if you want to put those on any type of merch, uh, or if you want to put them on any type of, I don't know, one of these guys, like a Tumblr, like a, a Yeti Tumblr or something like that, um, or anything else, um, post it on Instagram. I will retag you or Brian will see it and retag you or whatever. I'm retagging all you guys. One more exciting nugget. I'm going to be doing a meetup the day before the tournament. So even if you guys did not get in to fish the tournament, um, like I said, there's still spots open. There's about 50 spots left. Um, then the day before, um, I'm, I'm doing a meetup, my first ever official Meet up to meet all you guys, all you MFers that support the channel right freaking now. No details yet. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the location. It's going to be around Truman Lake, obviously, because I'll be down there. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys at that. And um, more to look forward to. I know I didn't – I kind of just touched on some things. we got some more stuff in the future. Video tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Really good video with Porn Stash Saturday morning. I got a good video. I filmed with Zach, the uh, SC Fishing Tank guy. Sunday I got a video, Tuesday I got a video, I'm going to film all weekend, a lot of busy stuff, but a lot of good stuff, and I appreciate you guys uh, sitting, sitting around watching this video right here. Love you so much guys, I'll catch you very soon. I'm out of here, peace.